onto your desktop so once you have it on your desktop I skipped over it obviously because it would have taken quite a while but once you have it on your desktop you should see a folder and that folder should be 3.11 gig bytes and once you double click on it all you have to do is double click setup so once you double click setup the screen will come up for you guys right now you're not going to be able to see it but it will come up all you have to do is click yes and then you can close out of the folder and put the folder um, anywhere but do not delete the folder make sure you keep the folder there so then you'll see the windows box come up and then you will see the windows screen come up so I'm not going to install windows directly because obviously I have windows 10 installed already as you can see so I'm not going to install windows 10 but I am going to show you everything you need to do so it is playing right now as you can see it's going from 1% to 100% so once it gets to 100% the big box will come up that usually comes up if you're installing windows and it will tell you to download and install recommended updates so for windows 10 you have to do that so you do need internet for this thing once you've installed the windows thing you do need inter to do install the up all the update that microsoft have brought out so i'm not in this video i'm not just going to be showing you how to install it but i'm also going to be showing you a few features i'm not going to be showing you all the features because obviously that will take me way too long because windows 10 has been absolutely updating everything it looks uh, way better in my opinion and everything just looks more organized and more efficient i think so as you can see it went to 100 percent and you get to your update screen so once you're at your update screen all you have to do is click download and install updates recommended and click next and then it will say check for updates obviously you need internet for this part so you just leave it check for updates eventually the serial code will come up and it will tell you to install the serial code this is windows 10 home so you need to look online and look and see if you can find windows 10 home serial key so once you find the windows 10 home serial key then you just put it in and then click next and then you will still be able to keep all your files and you'll be able to win install wind update to windows 10 so i'm not as i said before i'm not going to be installing windows 10 because i already have windows 10 on this pc so let's just wait for this to close so i can show you guys some of the features that they have updated and made look better so i guess i'll just okay so it's closed down now so the first feature that i off the bat noticed was the start menu you can put the start menu up and down which is pretty cool and you can expand it as you can see here and add more stuff to it so if you wanted to drag that thing obviously you will need to click pin to start just pin to taskbar or pin to start and you will get it up here and you can drag it back and you can drag it up and down as I just showed you so if you want you, you were used to the Windows 10 version you can just Windows 8 version sorry you can just right click and you can change it somewhere in here just look around and you'll find it so the second thing that I noticed off the bat when I installed Windows 10 was the new notification center this cleans up everything for me they do not call it an notification center they actually call it an action center which actually makes quite a lot of sense because it has your notifications plus these action buttons here so if you have a touchscreen laptop and you don't want to see all the stuff that you usually see on a normal laptop all you have to do is double click tablet mode tablet mode will only be there for people who have touchscreen laptops so you click tablet mode and it will make it look more like a tablet a windows 10 tablet so you have connect if you want to connect it to a PC because this is a laptop and you have notes all settings battery saver that's if you have your battery charger plugged out but I have mine plugged in throughout the Windows 10 installing process this is the thing you must do is keep your charger in because if your charger accidentally gets plugged out you could get stuck in a recovery mode and you would have to do a CD install which is quite um, just isn't worth it so you have VPN, you have brightness, you have links keys, which is what internet I'm using right now. You have all of these things and you have location. So uh, they added a new things into some settings, which I kind of like. So you have all of these things here and you also do have an update center. So there will be quite a few updates coming out quite a lot. So you need to always check your update center. As you can see, I checked today at 1.16 p.m. That was the last time I checked. 
but you guys should check almost every day to make sure that you install all the new updates because Windows 10 even though it is publicly released they're still bringing out some um, quite different updates so you can add make yourself a developer or you can just don't use developer option that is definitely up to you so that is not the only thing they added they also added Microsoft Edge Microsoft Edge is um, just a way of using an Internet Explorer because it's just an update to Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer no one really likes it. everyone would download Chrome straight away but Microsoft Edge is just a better version of Internet Explorer and that's why I like it so much so it comes up with Netflix and all of these things that people usually go on so I'm just gonna go to the Google thing right here and as you can see Google loaded up quite fast and they're loading things at a quick and speed rate so I don't really need Google Chrome but if you guys want to install Google Chrome you can install it so that is all up to you there is some more features like they added different appearances for the folders and uh, folder process page looks a bit different so those are the couple of new things they've added and there's a lot of appearance changes especially in store and as you can see you can actually make it into a small box unlike when you're on Windows 10 Windows 8 sorry you would have to make it cover up your entire screen so as you can see my Windows store is taking quite a long time to um, load but that is only because I am recording for you it will load quite right away and you will see some new stuff so I am gonna bring out um, jailbreak update via 8 that will be coming out soon so stay tuned for that because they did bring out a jailbreak for 8.4 and 8.3 and I know there's been a quite a few jailbreaks that I haven't explained so you'll see those coming out soon and plus um, I'm going to show you guys some root, some stuff, root stuff that you can get and what is the best thing you need to get when you root. So just like exposed and some exposed modules that you guys can get. So that is it. Um, I believe that is it. This is X Original Tech signing out. Please like, subscribe and comment. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Peace.